If you're looking for reliable money drop services for GTA Online, look no further than Digizani, where they offer many, many services. Just be sure to use code JACO for 5% off at checkout. Our good old pal TezFun2 over on Twitter, Rockstar Insider, has released some new information about the little background update that happened in GTA Online. There was a car to car merge glitch that they patched and as well as an unlimited sprunk snack bug slash glitch which i didn't actually know until now i actually looked up some gameplay i'm not going to show it on screen in case rockstar copyright strikes it for exploiting the game or whatever which it is believe me it is but you could exponentially carry around a ton of sprunk snacks and literally just unlimitedly drink them in combat and you would essentially never die while using the new weapon wheel feature to eat these sprunk snacks or whatever so it was pretty ridiculous if you want to go watch some gameplay there's some gameplay out there but uh yeah luckily that's patched honestly it's kind of ironic that the event of sprunk versus e cola is going on right now my affiliation belongs to sprunk if you guys were wondering let me know what you guys are uh, belong to down below in the comments so probably the e cola fans or e cola uh developers at rockstar couldn't take any more of this so they patched it probably not but it's just fun to think that way you know this next piece of news or leak whatever you want to call it has a possibility of lucky spin wheel in the diamond casino uh possibly being able to be used more than once per day tez fun believes that it's probably hidden behind gta plus or some sort of paywall subscription um honestly i believe them i think that, that if they're gonna do something like that it's gonna be behind gta plus which is kind of annoying but it's not like you can really get a whole lot from the diamond casino anyways and with all the glitches and you know things you can exploit to get the car every week if you really wanted to i don't really see this as a massive issue but i can definitely see how some people may be upset with this considering that it's been in the game for so long and gta plus is probably Mm, quite possibly going to get this as a uh, maybe two to fourth time a day type of thing. I barely get on GTA Online anymore, but when I do, I'm the last thing I'm thinking of most of the time is going after the lucky wheel. So if this is in your daily routine of GTA Online, maybe it's worth it for you to now get GTA Plus. I don't know, but uh, well, I guess we'll have to see the other benefits or even if this is even part of the GTA Plus benefits next month. So yeah, I guess we just have to sit around and be a little bit more patient. TestFun2 went and answered another question on the forum for specifically a PC update on the PC side of GTA Online, obviously. I'm going to skip ahead to the very last paragraph. Four refreshment metrics are the technical feedback your game always sends to Rockstar developers often favor that type of feedback over email feedback or other avenues because it's pure raw data telling the developers exactly what they want to know without telling them their life stories. However, in today's case, this update was most likely reserved for anti-cheat purposes. Is anti-cheat or at least a proper anti-cheat for the modders and mod menus in GTA Online finally coming to GTA Online on PC? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but that's what it sounds like for uh, from this forum answer right here from Tez Fun 2 himself. I'm still not going to get my hopes up yet because we've heard so much about anti-cheat and honestly, nine what the it's been on PC since 2015, April of 2015, seven years, over seven and a half years. So, I mean, if we have haven't gotten anything yet i doubt that they're gonna make a huge change now unless they want to make expanded and enhanced on pc or do something special for pc to make the player base come back or at least make it worthwhile purchasing i don't know that'd be my only guess is if they're gonna do something special and anti-cheat would be a big selling point because it's honestly the only reason why i don't play on pc most of the time so i think that'd be a pretty good idea for rockstar you know i could i could you know be hired into their marketing team and that would be one of my first answers is hey let's let's market the fact that there's a lot less modders or cheaters or no cheaters at all in gta online on pc anymore that would be awesome but i i'm not going to get my hopes up quite yet but let me know what you guys think down below in the, with a comment that's really all we have for today with the leaks or news or information, whatever you guys want to call it. But uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about some of these changes. I would really love to see anti-cheat coming. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. And check out some more of my content here if uh, you feel like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.